Hi, it's Paul Munder from Production Expert. Acon Digital have teamed up with Avid to introduce an ARA version of Acoustica. This is a digital audio editor which includes a number of powerful tools for audio restoration, noise reduction, and signal processing. It works directly within Pro Tools, and users can work with audio in either waveform view or as a spectrogram. All Pro Tools users with an active subscription can access Acoustica Essentials, which provides some great functionality and processing such as D-Clip, D-Click, and D-Hum, along with spectral editing, of course. But if you own Acon Digital Acoustica Premium, then you'll gain access to the extended feature set directly within this ARA version. Let's take a look at how this works, along with some of the key features and benefits. Acoustica can be enabled either per clip by right-clicking and choosing Acoustica edit, or for the whole track by enabling it over here. Once enabled, a selected clip will display within the docked Acoustica view. If required, this can also be detached into a resizable window, or the docked window itself can be expanded. There are numerous ways to process audio, and we'll start with a very common one, noise reduction. In the premium version, we have access to a whole host of great noise reduction tools accessed from the enhancement menu. Let's take a listen to a noisy clip. This is an example of some dialogue recorded right next to a fan. Definitely not the best location to make a recording. I'll use Extract Dialogue for this. I'll preview it, set a maximum amount of attenuation, and then, when I'm happy with it, I'll process it. This is an example of some dialogue recorded right next to a fan. Definitely not the best location to make a recording. Sounds good. Process. And that was a very quick and efficient way of reducing the noise on that clip. And because of the convenience of ARA, I could always bypass it, clear it, or render it just from this right-click menu on the timeline. Next, a clip with some wind noise in the recording. I think because there are more eyes on each student's story, the net of people who can spot a potential problem is quite a lot tighter than it was before. The wind noise seems to be mainly in the lower frequencies. If we take a look at this in the spectrogram view, most of the problems do appear to be at the bottom end. With this being wind noise, I can use the D-Wind dialog module. And we know that the high frequencies are not really a problem, so I'm going to use the high shelf sensitivity control to prevent it from affecting those higher frequencies. Now I'll just take a listen and adjust the maximum attenuation and sensitivity controls, and once I'm happy, I'll render it. I think because there are more eyes on each student's story, the net of people who can spot a potential problem. And there I've just soloed the noise, which is a very useful feature. Story, the net of people who can spot a potential problem is quite... And this is a great workflow for dialogue editors because it means that you have access to a range of tools directly within Acoustica in Pro Tools and you can apply the processing you need quickly and efficiently. And there's a distinct advantage over audio suite processing in that you can revert back to the unprocessed audio in a much more convenient way just from that right click menu with the bypass option. Next, a piece of audio which is absolutely full of pops. Pops can be a problem in places where people pronounce plosives with no pop filter. In this case, I'm going to use the tool which I consider to be the absolute best pop removal tool in existence, Deplosive Dialog. Maybe I don't need 60 dB of attenuation, about half of that should be fine, let's take a listen. Pops can be a problem in places where people pronounce plosives with no pop filter. Maybe even a little less than that. Pops can be a problem in places where people pronounce plosives with no pop filter. Just a couple of other adjustments. Pops can be a problem in places where people pronounce plosives with no pop filter. And just to demonstrate another feature, let's say I wanted to add some reverb to this. So I'd go into the effects menu and select reverb. This opens up Verberate 2, which is a very capable reverb plugin. If you're working on dialogue for post, sometimes you want to place dialogue or ADR into a believable sound and acoustic setting. Let's go into the presets menu, rooms, and maybe choose kitchen. Pops can be a problem in places where people pronounce plosives with no pop filter. And initially, this is just the reverb, but in this case, I'd like to keep the dry signal, but just add some reverb to it. So I'll activate the dry signal here, and then set an amount of reverb with this slider. Pops can be a problem in places where people pronounce plosives with no pop filter. Good, and once again, I'll process it. Pops can be a problem in places where people pronounce plosives with no pop filter. We've only just scratched the surface in this video of what's possible in Acoustica Premium within Pro Tools. This is a great addition to the ARA functionality of Pro Tools, and it provides a highly comprehensive feature set which allows for speedy workflows without having to round trip to the standalone software and back again.
Personally, I have been using it largely for noise reduction, including utilising the functions of the spectral editor to attenuate or replace certain noises, but there are also tools such as Normalize, Echo, Chorus, and numerous others which make this perhaps the most comprehensive Pro Tools ARA plugin so far. I've been using Acoustica Premium in this video, but remember that Acoustica Essentials, which still includes a really good range of processing tools, is included with all active Pro Tools subscriptions. For more information on this, check out either the Avid or Acon Digital websites. Thanks for watching.